and see if we can get that audio brought up. And the bailiff just handed the court something. Could it be the verdict form? Just an educated guess here, my friend. So glad you were with us on this verdict watch. We are waiting, and I see the jury has reached a verdict. The jury we just will got listen to the in. verdict as I read it. In the Circuit Court of Wood County, West Virginia, State of West Virginia Plaintiff versus Chester Robert Ulysses Lilly III, Defendant, case number 19F255, verdict. We, the jury, find the defendant, Chester Robert Ulysses Lilly III, guilty of murder in the first degree, signed by the foreman. Ladies and gentlemen, is this your verdict? Okay, counsel, you, defendant, may be seated. Defense will move to individually poll the jurors, Your Honor. Very well. And first, you want to inspect the verdict form? Yes, Judge. Okay, if counsel will come forward to inspect the verdict form, and the clerk uh, in a moment will call the name of each juror and ask them if this is their verdict. Okay, counsel has inspected the verdict form, and we will poll the jury. That's what you requested, correct, Mr. Munoz? Yes, Judge. Okay, the clerk will. All 12 jurors have answered in the affirmative, confirming that this is their verdict. Anything else on this particular issue of the returning of the verdict? If not, the verdict is received by the court, ordered, filed. And I will deliver that to the clerk of the court. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we now go into a separate phase of the trial to determine the sole issue of granting mercy or not recommending mercy. So uh, we will commence that proceeding after a brief recess. So I'd ask you to go ahead and go into your jury room and uh, just let the bailiff know if you need a break or anything like that. But we'll be back with you shortly if you'll go on to the jury room. Uh, no, they stay. Stay there, because they consider all the okay. all the evidence. Okay, you want to close the door there. Um, this council. Council ready to proceed with the mercy phase. We just might have like a 10 to 15 minute recess, judges. Okay, is the uh, defendant planning to present evidence? Certainly, Judge. Okay, and the state, do you plan to present evidence or? Dependent upon examination from the defense. And the uh, uh, defense would go first and the state uh, second. And uh, you can, you're entitled to give an opening statement, present evidence, and a closing argument. Um, I don't know if you want to give an opening statement or waive that or. 
be able to advise the court after our recess, Judge. But I think okay. more than likely we would. Yes. Okay. I'll call on call on you and uh, um, prosecuting attorney as to whether they wish to give an opening statement at that point. Uh, I have I have a uh, instruction and a uh, proposed proposed verdict form, assuming or if we got to this point uh, in the proceedings. I don't know if you all have separate instructions or not. I believe I have the instruction I used in the state versus McCoy and Roberts case. And uh, then it's a simple question whether they recommend or not recommend mercy. So I will provide you those over the break. If you have proposed instructions, so uh, you can also get those. Do you have any idea how many witnesses you plan to present, uh, Mr. Munoz? Or handful. Okay. All right. We will take a uh, at least a 10-minute, possibly 15-minute break then. Okay. We'll resume by 3.15 then. Okay. Thank you. All right. You heard his honor. This case is going to move swiftly into the sentencing phase. The jury will have another decision to make whether convicted murderer Chester Robert Lilly will receive mercy or no mercy with a life sentence that is attached to the crime of first-degree murder, which he has